Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can bring together two new features that we've added in the last couple months to our product to better serve your novice business users. The two features I'm going to touch on are custom templates, which are launching this month, and the copy and paste visualization and panel options that we added last month. As new users to Adobe Analytics, um, people that, that get into Workspace not only have to learn the new UI, but they also have to learn and understand the Adobe Analytics data structure. Um, and they often have lots of questions. As an analyst who understands both of these things, um, you might often find that you want to be able to share these best practices, this knowledge that you have uh, with those new business users. So with custom templates, we now allow you to create um, tables and visualizations that matter to your business so that others can have a better starting point for their analysis. Uh, building on this idea, with the copy and paste options that we now offer, you, a new business user can easily pull up one of these templates and use it as a place to build from in their projects. Um, the use case I want to sh share with you is something I like to call building blocks. So as an analyst, the first thing that you would need to do is create a building blocks template. This template would include all of the things that you want new business users to be able to build from, like a marketing channels table with all the, the right KPIs, or a, a fallout visualization with all the right steps defined. So let's take a look at this. This is a new project here. Pretend we're a new user, and we want to open the building blocks template and start pulling from it. All they have to do is duplicate their tab here, and then go ahead and go to Project New. You'll see the new project modal with Adobe Standard Templates and Custom Templates. And under here is where your Building Blocks template could live. So I've pre-built one, and I'll, I'll show you kind of what I added in here. So I, I pulled things from um, Adobe templates, such as content consumption. I pulled over a few of the tables and, and visualizations that were interesting. Uh, for my business, so top pages with all the right page um, KPIs that we want to be measuring. I also pulled over some user retention from the Adobe templates to, to measure things like return frequency and also uh, plot that return frequency against some of my key cohorts. So I'll just take a second to render here. We can come back to that one. Oh, there we go. So the other things that I've added in here are some of my just custom uh, needs for my business. So I've added in KPIs to measure um, accounts and revenue. I've also added in my uh, conversion funnel, which is an application process. So within the fallout visualization, I've defined my steps, step one, two, et cetera, of my checking application. And I've also added in some of my key segments as well. So these are just some of the ideas of things you can add in the building blocks template. Um, I've also added marketing channels as well. So it's got the, the proper dimension and some of my key metrics as well as some um, calculated metrics that I've created that I want to standardize across my business. So all of these things are built in here and new users can come into this and pull things over to their blank project. For example, if they wanted to uh, measure marketing channels in their project, they could come here, right click, copy visualization, and go over to their blank project and say insert copied visualization. Right away, they have something to start from. They have a marketing channels table with all the correct events and metrics pulled in as well as the proper dimension. So that, that's kind of the gist of a, a building blocks template. You can, the, the new user could continue to pull over different elements of this that they want to add into their project. Um, and you can see how this is a big time saver um, and also a great way to standardize on proper best practices and proper analyses um, across your organization rather than having people pull in um, you know, different versions of bounce rate or different metrics that might not matter against pages, for example, you can really standardize by having them pull over a completely pre-built table. So I hope you guys have found this tip helpful of combining custom templates and the copy and paste visualization and panel options to better serve your novice users.